But these people here, these people here are lying as they're carrying out a genocide themselves. And they can't even get their lies straight with the Israelis, which shows just how weak and powerless ultimately this administration is. Because Netanyahu, I think when you're showing the clips before Danny of Netanyahu being angry, he was upset at the umbrage that he, you know, th th this, this, this violation of his power expressed by the Americans. And so he needs to put them back in their place. Hey, Joe Biden, your party has a, has a very close election coming up in three months. You know, you better get back in line. That's essentially what, what, what Netanyahu is saying. And look, mean, some of these uh, within the Israeli lobby have, have demonstrated very powerfully they do have the ability to, right. to skew elections with two Democratic members having been voted out in the primary season that, that uh, they put millions of dollars behind that. So it's not an empty threat and they have made good on it. No, uh, as of a couple of weeks ago, APAC had already spent a hundred million dollars on congressional elections, a hundred million dollars already. And it wasn't even Labor Day yet. So you saw that where they made examples of Corey Bush and Jamal Bowman. You see how Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is handling all this. I mean, she has completely sold out any degree of respectability. Uh, the woman has no integrity whatsoever. And this is supposed to be the most progressive, fierce member of Congress who also is insulated because of her demographic and because of her district. Uh, and she has basically shut up about this in a way it's just absolutely uh, pathetic. And so you see the power of that lobby if, if they're able to, to, to not only punish uh, members of Congress step out of line, but also to muzzle those and frighten those and make those obey 